Yo, 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 welcome to the channel, Grapple Gang. I'm Cartoon Cory, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about moments where Squidward nearly died. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video. So if you're subscribed and you comment, I'll respond for sure. It's that easy. Anyways, let's talk about Squidward's most deadly moments. Let's gather around the campfire for our first near-death experience in the episode, The Camping Episode. Seriously, what an iconic episode full of amazing scenes. For example, this one. I'll save you, Squidward! Okay, so this episode has a few moments where Squidward nearly met his fate due to a wild sea bear attack. But hey, if he just listened to SpongeBob and Patrick's warnings, it could have been avoided. Sea bears and fairy tales are real? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Patrick's right, Squidward. Sea bears are no laughing matter. By once I met this guy who knew 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 this guy's cousin who knew this guy who knew this guy who knew this guy who knew this guy who knew this guy. Like I said, they warned him, and because he didn't listen, this happens. If sea bears really exist, why didn't one show up? Maybe it's because you're not wearing your sombrero in a goofy fashion. You mean like this? No, like that. <laughs> Are you okay? No. Yeah, that must have been very painful and honestly could have killed our boy Squidward. But surprise, surprise, he still doesn't listen to SpongeBob and Patrick, thus leading to this. Jump inside our anti sea bear circle before he comes back. A dirt circle won't stop that monster. <laughs> Damn, that is a second near-death experience in the same clip. But wait, there's more. I guess I'll just live home then. No! They hate limping more than running. I guess I'll just have... Squidward dude, just listen to SpongeBob at this point. You're gonna get yourself killed. Okay, one more, but this is the last one as I'm starting to feel sorry for the guy at this point. Here, draw a circle. Okay. Ah! That was an oval. It has to be a circle. Move over. Our next deadly moment can be found in the episode Boat Smarts. Boat Smarts with Mrs. Puff. This driving safety film is brought to you by Kabutkus for Spotter Aubat. Citizens of Bikini Bottom United to keep SpongeBob SquarePants off the road and out of boats altogether. Okay, so this next one is so wild that I'm not even gonna waste time giving you a plot summary. But in this episode, Boat Smarts, Squidward really gets messed up during this scene. And damn, is it graphic. Like, just take a look. Ouch. Notice how he comes gently to a stop sign. Now this driver has no regard for safety. Ah! Ah! At least he had his seatbelt on. The episode Breath of Fresh Squidward is all about Squidward becoming fed up with SpongeBob and Patrick, invading his privacy. So he builds an electric fence around his home. Ooh. Thanks for sharing this moment with us, Squidward. Get <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for Squidward though, this really backfires when he forgets that the fence is electric and this happens. Dude, our boy could have been fried to a crisp and turned into some calamari after being zapped like that. And guess what? That ain't even it. It happens again later on in the episode during this scene. And I'm surprised our boy ain't dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, who cares about cooking and cooking on the wall and dancing? We're bigger than that, right? Leave it on me, Cole! <laughs> I want to dance funny, too! 
Oh boy, this next episode is great. In the episode Jellyfish Jam, SpongeBob does something he shouldn't have and brings home a wild jellyfish into his house. Jellyfish, for the last time, you cannot come home with me. Uh, what the heck? Seems harmless, right? I mean, they even throw a party and things get pretty crazy, but things also get problematic when this happens later on in the night. Yeah, Spongebob, you have quite the dilemma on your hands, but I think it's Squidward who really gets screwed over as look at this brutal scene. That surely would have killed Squidward. Like, come on, he was stung by like thousands of jellyfish. I know it didn't seem too crazy, but ouch. Okay, this next one is also going to be a quick one. And I'll admit it isn't very gory, but it is very risky. Take a look at this scene in Dying for Pie. Are you sure you should be poking it like that? Who is the doctor here? <laughs> Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'd never let SpongeBob do a freaking open heart surgery on me as I'm not trying to die. I don't think SpongeBob would be a very good doctor. All right, so the last two sections have been pretty tame in terms of gore, but don't worry, this next one is insane and can be found in the episode Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 4 after SpongeBob gets his hands on this shrinking belt. Can I be out of Can I be out of Can I? I wonder what this button does. Now with great power comes great responsibility, but SpongeBob really abuses it, especially when he shrinks down our favorite squid. Squidward, if Mermaid Man finds out, he'll kick me out of his fan club for sure. Please don't tell. Uh-oh, there's the phone. I'd like to speak to Mermaid. <laughs> what did... What? Oh. Hello? Now, while this is dangerous and could still count as a near-death experience, I mean, Squidward could get stomped on since he's so small, this does get worse when SpongeBob starts messing around with the belt. And this happens. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Do you hear me? Holy fish paste! Get it off me! That does not look very healthy, Squidward, but that's just the start of what's to come up, my brother. Take a look at this. I can do it! Yeah, Squidward is put through hell in this scene, thus giving us like four deadly moments all in one shot. Damn. Our next Squidward deadly moment can be found in the episode Naughty Nautical Neighbors, where he causes SpongeBob and Patrick to stop being friends. Man, you're a turkey! What's that? It's what you are! Well, you're still yellow. Hey, you know what else is yellow? What? Not cool, Squidward. Not cool. But hey, he gets some karma in this scene when he chokes on a fork. <laughs> Guys, seriously, this is probably one of the worst ones on the list. Like, the dude is literally choking on a fork and turns blue. That would have been a terrible way to die. <laughs> And last but not least is the episode House Fancy. And if you're a hardcore SpongeBob fan like myself, you already know what deadly moment is coming up next. I will admit though, this one isn't really a near death experience. Like he wouldn't have died from this, but holy cow would this be painful. Just take a look for yourself. Hang on, I'm trying to get a grip on the thing. Don't move it till I say Ow! It's on my foot. I don't... Okay. <laughs> I don't need you! Wow, Squidward, you're so strong! 
and you split your sofa in half. It'll be really easy to move now. Holy shrimp, Squidward. That is one of the most painful cartoon moments I've ever seen. Now, I'm probably gonna wrap up the video here, guys, but before I do, I just wanna give a shout out to the Grapple Gang and all of you guys here at the premiere. Shout out to the premiere gang. Shout out to the Grapple Gang. I love you all so much. By the way, if you're new to the channel though, make sure to subscribe as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video. So if you're subscribed and you comment, I'll respond. It's, it's that easy. Anyways though, I love you guys. I'll be back tomorrow with more content and I'll see you soon. Stay fresh.